When did I begin to realise I was uh, attracted to men? I think probably in my 20s, I'd, I'd had experiences of, of same-sex attraction as a teenager, but I hadn't quite registered those, I don't think. But in my 20s, I, I really began to twig that it was very much the case for me, that it, it didn't seem to be a, a phase I was kind of coming out of, um, and that it was something I needed to, to think about and come to terms with. I think it's because the word gay today is very much bound up with an identity. Uh, when someone says they are gay, they, they tend to mean not just that they're attracted to people of the same gender, but that that attraction is who they are. And for me as a, as a Christian, I, I don't take my identity from my sexual attraction. I take it from the fact that I've been created by God in his image. He's made me as a, as a man and that as a Christian, I'm, I'm now in Christ and that's how I am to see myself. And I think another issue is, again, people tend to use the word gay to mean a lifestyle. It's kind of a, a part of a whole package of how someone sees themselves and lives. And I experience same-sex attraction, but I'm, I'm not wanting to act on those feelings. As a Christian, I, I'm wanting to uh, live in obedience to God's word, and therefore I, I think it, it's more accurate to, to speak in terms of experiencing same-sex attraction than to say, I am gay. I think we need to assume that there will be Christians in our, our congregations, Christians watching this even, who are, are battling with these feelings of attraction. And as Christian communities, uh, we need to make it an issue people feel safe to talk about. Um, I first mentioned it to my pastor because he made it very easy to. In some comments he made in a sermon, he assumed that there would be people who were battling with this and he encouraged us to share it. And, and made us feel safe doing so. So we need to create a culture where it's okay to talk about, it's safe to talk about, where we're expecting there to be Christians who will battle with this. Uh, we also need to make sure we don't define people by this issue. Uh, so if someone does share that they're, they're experiencing these sorts of feelings, uh, we want to listen to them, we want to support them, we want to find out how they are, what things we can do to help, how we can be a good friend to them. But we don't want this to be the only issue that we ever talk to them about. Uh, they are far more than their sexual temptation. So I've written this book, Is God Anti-Gay? It's uh, part of a series of books looking at different questions that Christians ask. It is one of the big questions we get asked as Christians these days, but it's also an issue I think many Christians are wanting to think through. And so I've written it, I hope it will help people who will want to understand something of what the Bible says about homosexuality, but also help people to, to think about how they can encourage those who are struggling with same-sex attraction. And it may well be that people watching this will know people in their church for whom this is an issue. Or even there might be people watching this for whom it is an issue themselves. And I really hope this book will help. Mm -hmm.